Today, I'm gonna to be talking all about the prettiest fragrances for women. So if you wanna hear more, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't already guessed by the title and the intro, today I'm going to be doing a video all about the prettiest fragrances for women. And what I mean by this are these are the fragrances that make me feel really feminine and pretty when I wear them. So if you like the sound of that, then please do keep on watching. But before I get started on the content, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I will continue making fragrance content like this in the future. Now that's out of the way, let's get started on the list because I am super excited about the fragrances that I am going to be sharing with you. And the first fragrance that I'm going to be sharing with you is none other than the Chronic Rouge Extreme by Byron. And this is specifically the Rouge Extreme version, as I've just mentioned. And wow, 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 I've only just got this in my collection, but I am already obsessed with this one. It is very feminine, very pretty, and also gourmand. Now, it smells like the most beautiful Chantilly cream mixed with melon and raspberries. I also get a kind of strawberry shortcake vibe from it too. It is extremely, extremely delicious. This is absolutely a bit of a first impressions, but it was a love at first sniff. If you like your fruity, creamy gourmand scents, I highly recommend you getting your nose on the Chronic Rouge Extreme. I'm wearing this one today and it makes me feel so feminine and pretty. So I thought it would be perfect for this list. So I'm gonna read you the notes of this fragrance and I feel like the note composition is quite unique. It has a top notes of raspberry, whipped cream, melon, and pear. Middle notes are spicy notes, amber and cinnamon, and base notes are white musk, sandalwood, and patchouli. And I will say, I don't get the patchouli personally. So if you're not a fan of patchouli, please do not let that note put you off. I actually don't get much spice from this either. I maybe get a little bit of cinnamon. I definitely get a little bit of musk and the sandalwood, but this is a sweet, fruity, creamy bomb. I have it all over at the moment, but I'm just gonna do a fresh spray because obviously the opening's a little bit different from the dry down. The opening, you get a very realistic and juicy melon note. Absolutely incredible. I love eating melon. So that drew me in instantly. You get a little bit of that pear, but then I'm getting this whipped cream slash Chantilly cream vibe, sprinkled with raspberries. This is just good, good in my opinion. It's like eating a beautiful dessert. I'm just gonna describe a random dessert that I've made up in my head. You've got lots of whipped cream or Chantilly cream. You've got a mixture of fruits, the most prominent being the melon and the raspberry, but I do pick up a little bit of a strawberry note in here too. I also get the pear, and then you've got a sprinkling of a crushed buttery shortbread. Wow. You absolutely need to get your nose on this one if you're a fan of that type of vibe. I'm pretty sure this will not be for everyone because it is quite a literal gourmand, a very sweet, girly, feminine, almost linear gourmand, but I think it smells incredible and I feel so feminine and pretty when I wear this one. So I highly recommend the Chronic Rouge Extreme from Byron and I also have a 10% off code which I will pop in the description box below. So yeah, what a good one to start this list with in my opinion anyway. <laughs> so I'm never gonna stop talking about this next fragrance and it is none other than Ylang in Gold by M. Mikalef. And I love this more and more every single day. It's become a little bit of an obsession of mine 
and it's coming into the season where I feel like this is most appropriate. So spring and summer for reference. It is the most gorgeous, ethereal, beachy slash tropical fragrance. It smells like a gorgeous pina colada, but you're adding a little bit of banana in there too. It's very lactonic, but then you've got that gorgeous ylang ylang note, which just adds the most balmy, creamy slash waxy feel. I love ylang ylang in fragrances. There's a prominent note of peach and also a prominent note of lychee in here. But what I really get is a banana note, which isn't listed, but that is kind of the vibe I get from it. Absolutely delicious. I wore this about two days ago in London and I gave myself a very healthy spritz. I oversprayed this one and I was left with the most gorgeous glitter particles because I will say one thing, Ylang in Gold has micro glitter in the formula and it looked absolutely stunning on the skin, I have to say. But I did wanna mention that because not everyone will love glitter. But the scent profile is the ultimate feminine pretty girl fragrance in my opinion. I have got lots of reviews of this one on my channel, but if you like a more tropical, fruity, beachy scent that's also very floral, I highly, highly, highly recommend Ylang in Gold by M. Mikalev because I think it's very special. Next up, we have a new fragrance from Ellis Brooklyn, and this one is called Florist. And I feel like this is very fitting for the list. It's a very pretty and feminine fragrance. And I was actually invited to a little get together in London to explore this fragrance in more detail. We did a floral arranging class, which, you know, the name is Florist, so it makes complete sense, and got to explore the fragrance in more detail. The owner of the brand, B, was there and she talked us through her kind of idea behind this scent and some of the notes in the fragrance. And she was saying that she's not a massive floral lover herself and they realized they had a little bit of a gap within their collection because they didn't have a floral dominant scent, which was really, really cool. One thing I wanna say is there's a note of pear in here and apparently 99% of all pear notes in fragrances are all synthetic, which I didn't know. And they actually used a new technology where you extract the scent out of the pear in, I don't even wanna try and explain the environment because I can't quite remember, but there's some kind of new technology where you can extract the real smell of pears. And the first time I sprayed this, the pear was so prominent and realistic and juicy. So I completely do appreciate that note and get that from the composition. But this is a through and through feminine floral fragrance. There's a note of tuberose in here, which I actually enjoy. Yay for me, I'm starting to enjoy tuberose notes in fragrances. There's also gardenia in this fragrance. We've got lily of the valley, honeysuckle and jasmine. So it is a white floral fragrance through and through and you really do pick that up when you spray this one for the first time. It's very pretty, very feminine and I feel like the bottle aesthetic and the color sums this fragrance up very, very well. Now Florist does have some woods in the base and also a note of Ambroxin and that Ambroxin is helping to give this fragrance a better sillage and also it helps with the longevity. But the notes I really pick up in the composition is the tuberose, the pear and the gardenia. It's really, really gorgeous. It's a very feminine floral. It's not necessarily going to be the most unique thing you've ever smelt, but what it is, is a beautiful floral fragrance with a very realistic, juicy pear note up top. So yeah, I thought this was very fitting for this list. Next up, we have Passessoir by BDK. And this is a fragrance that leaves me feeling extremely pretty when I wear it. I think it's very feminine and it is the most gorgeous kind of tart, fruity fragrance. I definitely crave this one. I only recently got it in my collection, maybe about two months ago, and I've started making a little bit of a dent in it. Now my dents are never gonna be huge. I have a lot of fragrances in my collection and I am a under sprayer, but I absolutely adore Passe Soir. You have to enjoy a note of 
quince. It's very, very tart, which I personally love. And then there's lots of black pepper in here too. But what cuts through the black pepper is the zesty, zingy ginger note up top. I also feel like this is a very sexy yet pretty fragrance. It is the kind of thing that I would reach for in spring and summer when the weather is really warm. It's been an orange blossom too, but I would describe this more as a tart and fruity fragrance. Very pretty, very girly. And if you like the sound of a more tart, fruity fragrance that's gonna get you lots of compliments, then I would highly recommend you sample Passoire because I really, really enjoy this one. Next up, I wanna talk about a more soft and pretty fragrance and it's by the brand Room 1015 and this one is Sonic Flower. And this is more of a soft, powdery, feminine, oris and iris fragrance. If you're into that clean girl aesthetic and you like fragrances maybe a little bit similar to Glossier You or even Le Labo's Another 13, then I highly recommend trying out Sonic Flower. This one is different. It's definitely a little bit more floral and it has a sweetness to it as well. But I adore Oris in fragrances and I can even smell this from here. So there must be some on the bottle. Yeah, you're getting lots of Oris. I pick up an Iris note too, which I don't believe is listed. I'm getting the pink pepper. I'm getting the musk. I think there's carrot seeds in here as well. You get a little bit of white florals in here too. There's cashmere and there's an ambroxan note. And I seem to be gravitating towards fragrances with that ambroxan note. And I think it's because I tend to like lighter slash feminine fragrances that aren't too deep and dark. And then the Ambroxin gives it an airiness. So I've been recommending quite a few Ambroxin based fragrances recently. I get a really beautiful white floral vibe from here and then lots and lots of Oris. There is a sweetness, which I'm not sure where it's coming from. I almost feel like there's a juicy fruity note in here too. And then the pink pepper, it adds quite a beautiful touch to this. It really does ground it, but there is a sweetness. So it's not just a musky powdery fragrance. And actually I wouldn't even say this is powdery. It's more of a musky scent lots of Oris, very, very feminine, will absolutely get you compliments. And I know a few of you have bought this one and sent me your feedback and are loving it so far. It projects a lot more than you will probably imagine. And for me, Oris really sticks to the skin, so it lasts all day. I highly recommend sampling Sonic Flower. They do actually sell a 10 mil travel atomizer, so it would be a good way of sampling it if you weren't sure on the notes. But this is definitely a pretty girl fragrance. So that was Sonic Flower by Room 1015. How could I do a video all about the prettiest fragrances for women and not include the next fragrance? And that is Made in France's Kirk de Jean's Gentle Fluidity Gold. And I feel like this one oozes femininity. It is very, very pretty. It's appropriate for all seasons. It's a signature scent. It's all of the above. And I absolutely adore the vanillic feminine vibe that this fragrance gives off when I wear it. I just feel my best self and I highly recommend you sampling it if you haven't already because I feel like, I'm not gonna say this is underrated from MFK because it's not. However, it doesn't get as much attention because it's not Baccarat Rouge. It's not super intense like Baccarat Rouge or Oud Sadin Mood or Grand Soir. However, Gentle Fluidity Gold will absolutely get you the compliments. It would make the most perfect signature scent. It's got vanilla in here. It's got juniper berries. There's a little bit of amber. There's also some nutmeg that really gives this an almost spicy kick, but it's not a spicy fragrance. It's very, very soft. The juniper adds a little bit of an aromatic touch but again, not too much. This is more of a vanillic fragrance. It does smell like there's a slight bit of floral in here, which is not noted, but it's a musky, sweet vanilla floral, in my opinion, with a little bit of nutmeg. It is a very, very pretty fragrance. I had to include it in this list. So that was Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. And last, but by no means least, we have Killian's I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. Or in other words, princess. That is what I call this fragrance. This is, to me, 
the most pretty feminine fragrance maybe in my collection alongside Ylang-Ylang Gold and Gentle Fluidity Gold. But I reach for Princess so much and I was very late to the game. I only got this when it launched in or relaunched in the UK recently. And I would highly, highly recommend you sampling Princess if you have not already. It's the most gorgeous marshmallowy, vanillic tea and peach and ginger fragrance. It's got a little bit of lemon in the top too. But the ginger definitely stands out to me alongside the marshmallow and those marshmallows are very plump and powdery and you get a little bit of a tea note to cut through the sweetness of that marshmallow and some of the other sweeter notes within the fragrance. If you're not a fan of tea and fragrances, I would still highly recommend trying Princess because I don't feel like the tea is super prominent. It's there, but it adds just the right amount of balance to cut through this being an overwhelmingly sweet fragrance. You've got peach in here too, not super prominent. I get more of the ginger and the lemon personally, but the peach does start to come through in the mid. But the thing that I'm really getting is this pillowy soft cloud of marshmallow, vanilla, ginger, lemon, which does dissipate a little bit by the dry down. And then it's just soft, vanillic, cloudy, a little bit tea-like, oh, I love Princess by Killian, if you can't already tell. I have spoken about it in other videos if you want a little bit more of a detailed review, but if you wanna feel pretty and you wanna feel feminine and you want to get the compliments too, then I would highly recommend checking out Princess by Killian because it's such an easy reach fragrance. And like I said, I reach for it a lot in my collection. So that was all of the fragrances that I wanted to discuss in today's list. These are just some of the ones that I personally feel are the prettiest fragrances within my collection, but I wanna know if any of these stood out to you and do you have any thoughts on them please let me know down in the comments but as always what I most want to know are what are the prettiest fragrances in your collection please do let me know down in the comments because I find some of the best recommendations in the comment section please 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 do keep them coming I want to thank you so much for watching today I hope to see you in a future video to come have a wonderful day thank you so much and goodbye